Yeah, me and my cousin have this game where we try to see how many Pringles we can fit in our mouths at once. Oh, we're live? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the LBW Network. And the legend of LBW, Low Budget Santa's here. Um, Low Budget Santa is supposed to be off for medical leave to treat his concussions. That's why he was released from his duties from serotonin. He's not on the active roster right now. He still works here, but he's supposed to be on medical leave. Why is he here? Why is no one stopping him? Wait a second. That's the LBW World Champion, the King of Wet Food Style. Four time LBW World Heavyweight Champion, Yokomura. Wait a second, they're gonna, they're gonna have a match right here! Low Budget Santa, recently released from serotonin due to medical issues. Not supposed to be on the active roster, he's going against doctor's orders! And no one tried to stop him! Well, he's responsible for his own choices, he's a big boy! And I mean that figuratively and literally, both back and forth strikes from Yakumara and Low Budget Santa. Low Budget Santa is his own man again! Dealing with heavily untreated concussions. I don't know why he's allowed to wrestle out here. I don't know why nobody has stopped him. I don't know why he thinks it's okay to come out here and wrestle. Probably because he's concussed. Starting to notice a little bit of gray in the beard of Low Budget Santa. The man is only getting older. When he originally came into the LBW as a villain. He was an enraged, miserable sack of crap from the Santa Mall. Oh my gosh, he was a, he was, <laughs> he was a, a mall Santa, and it, it just took over who he was, became everything that he is, and he's been low budget Santa in the LBW ever since, and now he's here, he was kicked out of his, out of his stable due to medical reasons, not, not because he wasn't liked or wanted, but just that he was becoming a liability. And now he's out here anyway, and he's facing the world champion, which puts the world champion in danger of injury! This is a high risk for no reward! The title's not even on the line! Well, budget's low, excitement's high, logic nowhere to be found. This is LBW, folks! Welcome to the gold mine of professional wrestling! Let's see how they do! We've seen them face off before, but... That was quite some time ago. Nice front flipping sent on there by Miyokomura. Oh, nice strike there. Low Budget Santa, one of the founding members of the trio known as Serotonin. Now down to just Loridia and Misty Mouse. Oh my goodness! Here they go, going at it. Another bear hug there by Low Budget Santa. Hey, what? What's he. Hey, what are you doing here? What are you doing? LBW, it is I, Papa Shango. Get him off commentary. Shut up, you fool. Serotonin, dangerous group, takeover, carnage, madness. <laughs> Papa Shango knows all of these things. Papa Shango can cure the low budget Santa. All I want in return, Lorinia, head of Serotonin, is title shot against Miyakamura and leadership of Serotonin. If you do not comply, there will be grave consequences. Catastrophic consequences. This is my offer. These are my demands. I cure the low budget Santa for you. And you give those things to me, Papa Shango. <laughs> I always your answer. Jesus Christ, what a nutcase. Folks, 
I don't know what was said. I couldn't quite make it out, but Papa Shango just took over the broadcast table, pushed me out of my chair, took my headset and started talking. But it sounded like he made some kind of threat towards serotonin. I don't know what that has to do with this. Perhaps because Low Budget Santa was a former member? I, d I don't know. I'll have to watch the tape later to catch up. And folks, this might be... This might be a dangerous time. Papa Shango is out here making threats, taking over the, the broadcast table. Whenever Papa Shango rears his head, bad things follow. Curses, sickness, stomach aches, vomit, diarrhea. Papa Shango is a voodoo master. We've seen recently that he has excelled in his skills. He's become even better. He's even more of a master than before. Now, instead of doing petty voodoo, he, he can make weapons appear in thin air and throw them at you. He can lift you up, levitate, throw you out of the ring. We saw them do it to Walmart Willie. What is... What is Papa Shango's goal? What is his demeanor? I, I don't know. But I have a feeling Meow Kumara needs to watch his back. He's the world champion. He's got a target on his back every night that he's champion. And perhaps Low Budget Santa should watch his back as well. But... We can speculate on that. We can go back and watch the footage to hear what he said later. But right now, we need to focus at the match at hand. Now, Kimura, Low Budget Santa going at it. Spinning neckbreaker. Down goes Low Budget Santa. Wait a second here. Submission hole being applied. Will Santa tap out? The hairy chest of Low Budget Santa looks just like the lint I pull out of my vacuum cleaner. Oh, elbow to the head now. Referee looks on as the headlock is being applied. A most interesting match between two of the legendary figures of LBW's history. Look at this, the Boston Crab being applied. Will Meow Kimura, the LBW World Champion, give up? No, he kicks out with all of his might, all of his strength. He escapes. Wait a second here. Oh, goes for the clothesline. Stomp on the face. Elbow drop. All the weight on Malcomura's chest here. 2.9 Malcomura almost lost to Low Budget Santa. Oh, the power slam. 2.9 Malcomura still at it. Look at that. Multiple Larry attempts from both competitors. The stalling suplex. Blood rushing to the head of Malcomura. Timber! Down they go! Like a tree in the forest! If no one's around, does anyone hear it? We don't know because we have a nice crowd surrounding the ring tonight here at LBW. Oh no! Suplex to the outside! Now Kimura rolls under the guard railing! Ah! Lopez is Santa riding the invisible bicycle! Clapping to the crowd now! 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 I thought he was going to do it a fourth time. Back and forth strikes between the champion and his opponent. Nice spinning heel kick there by Malcomura. Takes out his leg. Smart tactic there, Kitty. Go for the win. Hit the positive effect. Knee to the face. I want to see a positive effect. Maybe we won't need to. He might win it right here. One, two, and 2.9. The match is not over yet. The medically uncleared. Low budget Santa. In a match against the world champion, Meow Kimura. This is a dangerous risk for both competitors. Loba Jacinta could injure the world champion. We could have to vacate the title. And if Meow Kimura loses, he loses to this giant goofball. The deadlift German suplex was almost enough to put away Loba Jacinta, but almost does not count. Meow Kimura going off with a fury of strikes. Putting everything in his soul, into his attacks. Look at this flying, flying fist by Miyokomura. Takes down Low Budget Santa. Santa gets back to his feet first. I think that took so much energy out of little 8.1 pound Miyokomura with the dragon screw. Takes down Low Budget Santa now. Sits on his face. Oh man. What a dragon screw in a teabagging pin combo. 
Low budget Santa clapping to the crowd. 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 Spear by Meow Kamara. Huh. I feel like there was a glitch in the system. Bear hug. No. Oh my gosh. Drops him down hard. Spinny neck breaker. Meow Kamara takes down Low budget Santa. Wait a second here. Could be time for the naughty list. No. He's got him with that backbreaker. The backbreaker submission hold. Oh my gosh, a modified torture wreck. Clapping to the crowd. Oh, Meow Kamura letting us know how he feels with the spear. Here goes Kitty. Oh, big Santa's boot by Loba de Santa. Who proceeds to ride the invisible bicycle. Oh my god! Oh, Meow Kamura! Despite the pain, despite the damage, despite everything, despite the weight, he does it. Tilt the world backbreaker, Miyokumura. Taunting for the crowd. Oh, boot to the face. Both competitors down. Low budget Santa is sucking wind. He's exhausted, but manages to sneak in. A left hook there. Miyokumura down. This is a non title match. But a win over Miyokumura would do wonders for this man. Unfortunately, he's on the inactive roster, so I guess it probably wouldn't matter. Unless somehow he was magically cleared by doctors to return. Oh, belly-to-belly -belly suplex. Fixing his pants. That belt is way too big. It doesn't quite tighten the waist. Stomping on the back of the leg. Low bunch of Santa. Stomping on the face of Miyakumura. Stomping on the right leg. Backing off. Goes for the left strike. Misses. Both competitors staring each other down. Trying to study their opponent, doing their homework, trying to make sure that they can capitalize at any given opportunity. Belly to belly suplex there. Santa drags away Melkamura. You guys don't mind if I eat cookies on commentary, do you? Okay. Oh my god! Oh, raking the eyes of Melkamura! Irish whip bouncing off the ropes and. Oh, needed the stomach, the kitchen sink. Deadlift German suplex going for the pin! Oh, the rope break nullifies the pinfall. Wait, a oh, running power slam. One, two, three. Oh, my gosh. An unexpected turn of events here, ladies and gentlemen. With the falling power slam. Low budget Santa in a non-title match picks up the victory over the LBW world champion, the king of wet food style, Meow Kamura.